Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. If you're new here, we cover about data science, concepts, tutorials, and explainer videos. And if you're into this kind of content, please consider subscribing. If you're wondering how to get started in R programming and how you can use R programming for data science projects, then listen on. So in this first video, as part of a series of video, we're going to cover about the, uh, the fundamental part of a, uh, the R language. So as you may know, R language is very important for uh, allowing us to do some statistical analysis of our data, uh, particularly for pre-processing the data, uh, making visualization, and which will also allow us to uh, gain insights into the data and create predictive models. So let's get started. Fire up your terminal window and fire up R. So you just type in R, so it's a capital R, and hit enter. And then here you are, you're in the R uh, environment. So let's create our first variable in R. So let's get started by firing up your terminal window. Okay, and when you're in terminal, you see a blinking cursor here. So let's type in R, capital R. And so this brings you into the R programming environment. So let's, for example, type in five, and then you will see that it also returns five. And if we type in five times six, you see that it returns 30, so it does multiplication here. So let's try 15 slash 5. So that's division. 15 divided by 5, so you get 3. So let's now define our first variable. So let's define A. Let's assign a value of 5. And let's assign a value of 6 to B. So this is the example that we have done already, 5 times 6. And so let's create another variable called C, and then we're going to have C multiply B. Okay, and so let's type in C, and then we're going to get 30, because C is equal to A times B, and A is equal to 5, and B is equal to 6. So 5 multiplied by 6, you get 30. So let's say that in the future, a, the value of a changes from 5 to 6. Okay, so it seems that we have to uh, define the equation c once, once more in order to get the updated value of 36. Okay, so let's say that a becomes 7. So, so if we type c, it, it still maintains the same value. So we have to define it again. So c equals to uh, a times b. So we're going to define that once more. And as you can see, I, I just type in the, I just press the up button, up key, the arrow, up arrow, uh, and it will give me the previous commands that I have typed so that I don't have to type it again. Okay, so there you have it. You have uh, done some basic multiplication, division. You have defined a variable, uh, assign it with some values. So let's say that you want to assign more than one value to your variable. Can you do that? Well, of course. So we're going to make use of what, what we call a vector. So a vector works pretty much like a, an array in Python. So if you think of it, a vector in R is kind of like a bookshelf. So with a bookshelf, you have many shelves, of course. Let's say that in your bookshelf, you have five shelves. And on each shelf, you have uh, different objects. So let's say that you have apple on the first shelf, you have uh, an orange on the second shelf, you have a uh, banana on the third shelf. Okay, so let's define our variable. Let's call it fruits. And then we're gonna have C, which is 
uh, when we want to define a vector. So we're going to have apple, we're going to have orange, we're going to have banana. So how about let's make our shelf into a three shelf bookshelf. And so let's type in fruits again. And so you're going to see three values here, apple, orange, banana. So let's say that we want to get the values on the first shelf. What do we do? So you type in fruits and then you're going to use the bracket and then you're going to type in the number one. So at the first position, number one would mean the first position of the variable fruits. So the first position and the value will return apple. So what happens if you type in fruits and then you change the value to two? Yes. Or you get orange. And what happens if you type in three? Would you like to guess? Well, it's banana. Okay. So there you have it. You have created a variable uh, which contains a vector of values and you have done subsetting by displaying the values in each of the shelves or each of the position in the vector. And so give yourself a big hand. Uh, you have done a good job now. Okay, so uh, now you have created the content uh, right inside the terminal, the, the command line. And so now we're going to try RStudio so we're going to do the same thing in our studio. Okay. So it's going to look resemble like in the terminal. So if I type in 5, I'll get 5. If I type in 6, I'll get 6. Type 5 times 6, I'll get 30. I assign a value to A. I'll assign a value to B. I'll do C is equal to A times B. If I type C, I get 30. Okay, so similar to what that we have got previously. Let's define a variable called fruits and then C. And then we'll define the first element, which is apple. And then we're going to define the second element, which is orange. And then we're going to define the third element, which is banana. And we type in fruits, so we get three contents there. We type in fruits and we got we want to get the first position. We type in fruits and we want to get the second position. We type in fruits and we just get the third position. And enter. Okay, so it works exactly like in the terminal. And so now um, the good part is that you can also write your code and then you save it into a file. So to do that, you will want to click in file, new file, our script. Right? And then you can type in, or you can just copy what you have done here. Right? And then you can save it into a, a folder of your choice. I'll just save it into the downloads folder. So I'll call it sandbox.r. So notice that r is in capital letter, dot r. So to run it, you want to type in, you want to click on run. Or you could type. Or it could be control enter on a Ubuntu. And then oops, and then I'm going to save it. Okay, so, right, so I can do it like this again. And then control. Enter. Open. Control Enter, and you see that uh, Apple will be returned. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.